Hello, Luda here, and this will be a little video, a different one from what I usually do, since I try to keep it um, on the point. This time will be more of a discussion and saying what I think about the game and how it feels to me. So, Neo is a challenging game. It is a good game, a well-made game, and it is not challenging in a bad way. It is challenging in a way that makes you want to get better, and makes you want to get one over it. Let me explain. In this game, there are talismans. This one, the Sloth Talisman, is incredibly good it can change totally the way you play the game because it's it is super powerful it will give you an advantage in every single encounter like there is no encounter where you don't get a bonus from the soft talisman of course to every world there is an exception and I will show you that one in the next video. However, this game is made so well that not only you feel that you're getting further, you're getting better, but you feel that you are part of this world. Not um, the way a game, a RPG, that would let you make your character would make you feel like a Mass Effect or a Dark Souls which is a bad uh, example <laughs> um, or uh, Dragon Age but it is more of a, a hey, you are living through this guy things that could never happen um, I will take my example I am not <laughs> A white European blonde man with uh, clear water blue eyes. So, at the beginning, when I would, when I saw the, the character, I was like, "Meh, I know the Geralt. This might not work." But then, then I got into the game, and I could feel that. Damn, man, I, I don't know you. I don't know where you're from. You don't have my story. But I kind of want to know where you are getting and what's happening to you. And that's the magic in this game. That's part of the magic in this game. So how does Nia do? How does that game manage to keep you interested? And I have to say that the story is a big part of it. And... Even though it has been written and taken back and forth since 2004, this story is so well made, is so coherent that you almost feel like you would you wouldn't mind being a part of it. So, yeah, no matter what your ethnicity is, your background, your aspirations in life and whatnot. This game will talk to you because of the story, because of how you can feel yourself changing. Not only William, the main character, when you get better stats, but when you learn more, when you get better, when you don't give up, when you sit back, relax and think to yourself, well, maybe I could have done this differently. Maybe I could have changed the detail and maybe with, lo with a lot of luck, with a lot of thinking, you will be able to pick something up from this game and bring it to the real world that will help you out. Details in this game pass by. The, the beauty of the graphisms and the sounds, the audio, it is a very immersive game because of that too. You can feel stressed, you can feel the tension when fighting some bosses with a different music. 
and in some overalls like Okatsu, this boss will make you feel. Will, you will have mixed feelings because you will not know what is going on or how to get yourself to beat her since she's been with you all this time in the game. Therefore, this game is to me a masterpiece, maybe not a 10, but this game is a must play. And even though I am, I like what Sony does, I, I enjoy my hardware like any other guy that paid for it. I wish it was on PC too, at least on another on another system where more people could could um, enjoy it. I mean, LZD said that when it comes to real pieces of art, maybe having a limited quantity of it will make it more precious. I believe that like a good Wu-Tang album, Neo is meant to be enjoyed by a lot of people. This is not uh this is not a very reviewy kind of point of view. It is just more of a discussion. So I hope you liked it and see you soon for another video.